guys, how are you guys doing? I hope you're all doing well. My name is Kenzani. If it is your first time here and welcome to my channel. What's good? What's popping? And happy Faith Friday! Faith Friday is back and I am so so excited that Faith Friday is back. So today's topic, we're going to be talking about why knowing your identity in Christ is so important. And um, I just, <laughs> I'm so excited. So before we get right into this video, please don't forget to give this video a big massive thumbs up. If you liked it, comment down below any um, things that you guys want to add on to what I'm saying. Please do share this video with anyone that you know. Repost it on Instagram, tag me. I'm just really just, let's just get this message just spread out. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you're notified when I post a new video. And let's get right into the video. right into this we've all heard that knowing your identity in christ is so so important it is so necessary it's something that we should all know as christ followers your identity in christ who you are in christ your god-given identity right that is something that we're constantly all told to do but do we ever actually take the steps or the necessary things that need to be done in order for us to learn our identity in christ do we actually take the time to sit and try to figure out what our identity in Christ is, who God says we are. Do we actually take the time to do that? I'm convinced that the enemy tries to convince us not to learn our identity in Christ, mainly because if we as Christ followers were to learn our full on identity in Christ, we would have the greatest amount of authority, the greatest amount of power to have the same power that jesus had i feel like there's something so authentic with a christian that knows their identity in christ there's just something so organic there's something so powerful about that i think the enemy knows that once we know our identity in christ it's game over for him like he can't play with us because we have that authority so i'm very convinced that many a times the reason why so many of us don't know our identity in christ is because the enemy is trying to distract us from knowing what our God-given identity is. And I think it's so, so important that we know our identity in Christ. So for me, in those seasons where I felt like I wasn't enough, I didn't know my identity in Christ. When I started to tap into what my identity in Christ is, I honestly didn't believe it. I honestly didn't believe that God loved me. I didn't believe that I was called. I was like, what do you mean God loves me? Like, I'm such a mess of a human being. I'm so broken. How can God love someone like me? And that is how I felt when I got introduced to it. But that's a trap because... Something that regardless of what we go through, we are loved, we are worthy, we are called, we are purposed. And that is something that's so important. We need to learn to believe that on days, especially when it's difficult to live in that authority. We need to learn to know our identity in Christ because on days where it's shaky, on days where life seems a bit questionable, it's so important to know your identity in Christ because... There's something so authentic when you actually know your identity in Christ moving forward, especially in those hard moments, especially in those moments where you're in a deep dark hole of despair or depression or anxiety or just challenges coming your way. There's something great about knowing your identity in Christ, which I will tap into, but it's so important for that. So I'm basically here to tell you that there's absolutely nothing you could do, um, nothing you could have done anything you could have gone through that will make you less than. Um, I'm here to tell you to stop believing that, to stop allowing shame to keep you from receiving his grace and his love because many times when you attach to this thing and you don't know your identity in Christ, you start to be like, well, I mean, I did this, I did this, I did that, I did this. This is what my life panned out to be like. How can God say he loves me? How can God say that I'm worthy? How can he say that I'm called and purposed, that I'm blameless? How can he say these things if he knew what I've been through? And many a times that's that shame that the enemy loves to keep us in. That's the shame that he loves to make us dwell in like <laughs> you thought, baby girl. And, and that's the thing about it. There's nothing, absolutely nothing you could have done for God to love you less. There is nothing you could do not to receive his grace and his mercy. It is so tangible. It is so there. And I think it's so important for us to learn to step out of that and just be like, yes, God loves me. I mean, I'm a bit messed up, but that's the thing. He is made strong in our weaknesses. You may think of yourself in one way, but oh my goodness, God sees you in such a higher way. Like I always have a prayer that I want to see myself the way God sees me because the way I see myself Definitely not the way God sees me. And that's something that is so, so wrong because I am God's creation. And for me to think that I'm not worthy, for me to think that I'm not called is just crazy. So one thing I wrote here that I want to read for you guys that I wrote, it says, God is waiting with arms open, 
pouring out his grace surrender all those hurts and pain um, that you think define you and how that determines how you'll be loved lay it all at the feet of jesus lay all your burdens the fear the guilt the shame the pain receive god's amazing amazing loving freedom so a few scriptures i wanted to read for you guys is jeremiah 1 verse 5 says before i formed you in the womb i knew you before you were born i set you apart i anointed you as prophet of the nations 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. And then another scripture is Romans 8 verse 38 to 39, and that basically says, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And I think that that's so important to realize there's literally nothing it says here for i am convinced that absolutely nothing can keep you nor separate you from his love there's nothing that you could have done that alters your identity in christ what i want to do is list reasons why knowing your identity in christ is so important because i could tell you know your identity in christ but you could ask me kintani why i am here to tell you why the first thing is is that knowing your identity in christ gives you the authority that you are called and that you are purposed so with this you can tell your mountain to move because you have the authority and the power of Jesus in you. So Romans 8 verse 11 says, if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give you life to your mortal bodies because of his spirit that lives in you. And I wanted to reference this to the song um, by Dante Boer called Champion. Guys, that song is my jam. So there's a part in it that says, when I lift my voice and shout, every wall comes crashing down. I have the authority Jesus has given me. When I open up my mouth, miracles start breaking out. I have the authority Jesus has given me. I think there's something so important because it gives you that authority to believe that to declare and to decree things over your life that Jesus has called you, that Jesus loves you. It just sets you at a point where, guys, this is authority that Jesus has given you. The moment you were saved, you were given this authority. But once you tap into it and once you just activate it by fully believing in it, there's something that just takes place where you're just like, nothing can faze me. I mean, life can get challenging, but... I'm gonna get through this like it gives you that ability to be like man life may suck right now but I know who God says I am and he's not gonna leave me here for me I'm learning that when I get an anxiety attack and it starts to tell me that I'm not loved that I'm not enough I start to tap into the fact that scripture says that I am loved scripture says that I am called anxiety you can't tell me anything that I don't know about myself already you will not make me feel some type of way you will not make me question my identity in Christ you will not make me question my purpose the second thing is that it gives you confidence so a confidence that no one can take away that's why it is so important to know that storms may come but you stand firm knowing who your God is as well as who you are and that Jesus should be the context of your confidence in Hebrews 10 verse 35 it says so do not throw away your confidence it will be richly restored so knowing your identity in Christ gives you this confidence there's nothing that can tell you anything about yourself and I think self-confidence is something that is so so important I have struggled with my confidence for years and I think I'm at a point now where I'm just like this is who God says I am why how dare I start to question that I don't know like you humble but you confident all in the same time because you know where you were and you can see where you are now and you start to tap into the fact that Jesus says I'm loved Jesus says all these things about me scripture says that God wrote it down for me for the times when I start to question that I feel like God knew that there's probably going to be a time where we start to question our confidence that's why he wrote so many scriptures that say this is who you are this is what I've called you to be I think once you're confident you're just like Jesus loves me I'm not going to be ashamed of the gospel. I'm not going to be ashamed of his word. I am going to live and bask in the fact that I'm set apart. And I think it makes me more, all the more better knowing that I'm set apart. But Jesus called me to be set apart. I think it just makes me feel more at ease. The third thing is that it increases your faith. When you know who you are, your faith and belief increases. There is no room for self-doubt and you know to focus on him and not your situation in good times and in bad times. In Matthew 17 verse 20 it says, truly I tell you, if you have faith, 
as small as a mustard seed you can say to this mountain move from here to there and it will move for nothing will be impossible for you if you have faith to believe that you are called that you are loved that you are purpose and all these other things the list is honestly endless if you start to tap into that and you fully start to believe that there's something about it your faith just deepens up you just draw closer to jesus to a more higher extent your faith just starts to rise where it's like oh god i need you to do this for me there's no room for self-doubt for you to start questioning what god is doing you trust his timing and you're okay you are so content there's something about that like you just live in such abundance of contentment and i think that's something that's so important another thing is that it gives you joy and peace i am so so more peaceful and joyful when i am content and settled in my identity in jesus it sets my mind at ease I walk around believing that I am enough and that there is nothing that can steal my joy and peace from me. John 14 verse 27 says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you, not as the world gives you. Let not your heart be troubled. And then Romans 15 verse 13 says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so you may overflow with hope by the power of the holy spirit and then nehemiah 8 verse 10 says the joy of the lord is our strength for me when i am okay and i'm content in my identity in christ when i'm just like yes jesus has called me yes i'm loved and i'm just okay with that i am just so at ease i'm so peaceful i'm so happy like after for example after i read my bible i just I feel so happy and I can't explain it to you how happy I am. I'm so peaceful. When I'm consistently in the word, literally anxiety can't touch me because I know my identity in Christ. You can't tell me anything. You can't talk to me and try to make me question things and who God has called me to be. There's something so important when you do that. And then the last one is it gives you self-esteem. You start to believe that you are amazing despite what has happened to you, regardless of what life may have thrown at you. You are confident in yourself. You start to believe that you are worthy, that you are enough, and there's nothing that you can do that can change that. And then in Psalms 139 verse 14, it says, You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Matthew 10 13 says, You are worth more than many sparrows. Thing for me, I can see that I once had a time where my self-esteem was at a down low, non-existent, but now here I am. And when I look back at who I was before and seeing how God carried me through to who I am now, I have this confidence. And then um, it gives you validation. You start to believe that you are called and set apart, that you are handpicked by God. You stop seeking validation from others. You seek God's because you know that at the end of the day, what really matters is what God says about you. Um, that you are chosen and you're not forsaken, that you are loved beyond measure. And then another thing that it does is that it puts you at a better position to know and understand your purpose. So when I am firm in my identity, my purpose makes so much more sense and I am content. When I start to slip away, I am discontent. And I'll start to question my purpose and question that I am marked and that he has called me. So for me, it's a thing of, I know that when I am questioning my identity in Christ, I know my purpose is obviously gonna be altered. I'm gonna feel like, oh, maybe God hasn't called me. Why would God wanna call me? Why would God wanna use me? Who do I think I am? And when, like I am saying, when you know your identity in Christ, you have the authority, you have the confidence, you have the self-esteem, you have the faith to believe that God wants to use you. And you just make, it just makes so much more sense. I think when I am content and I am satisfied in my identity in Christ, my purpose makes so much more sense. And I'm just like, okay, cool. I'm not gonna try to compare my journey and what God wants to do with me com and compare it to what God is doing through other people. I am content with the fact that God is using me the way he wants to use me and that's okay, point blank period. Esther 414, perhaps you were born for such a time as this. First Thessalonians 1 verse 14, for we know brothers and sisters loved by God that he has chosen you. Second Timothy 1 verse 9, he has saved us and called us to a holy life, not because of anything we have done, but because of his own purpose and grace and that's something that's so important i feel like i grew up feeling like oh i probably have no purpose god's not gonna use me oh whatever but when i started to see everything start to unfold with my purpose from the moment god placed it in my heart to where i am now to where god is taking me I have the confidence to believe that yes i'm called by god yes i'm marked by god yes god wants to use me and he wants to use me as a vessel and i'm okay with that and i think when i start to doubt my identity in christ the shift of a change then i start to feel like well 
why would god want to use me i'm so messed up i'm so some type of way there's so many things i've gone through oh my gosh this is what i went through this is what i did you just start to like find things that define you and you start to question why god would want to use you and that's what happens when you don't know your identity in christ and i think that's why i'm saying it's so important to know your identity in christ so now i'm going to tell you guys ways in which you can know your identity in christ these are things that you can do that eventually at some point you're going to know your identity in christ number one read scripture read the bible open up your bible you will hear so many scriptures that say this is who you are this is what god says about you there's so many things that god says about you this is why it's so important to remain in scripture be consistent with your scripture reading whether you're reading it whether you're studying it like remain in scripture in the bible it says meditate on a day and night like do it consistently because when for example for me i kind of took a break and i haven't read my bible in like two weeks that just made me more anxious made me more self-conscious made me doubt myself more but when i would read my bible every single day and stick at it and be consistent i was more at ease i felt like yes i'm loved my identity in christ just made so much sense because it dwelled deep within me next thing is prayer ask god to help you know your identity sit and ask god sit in prayer and communicate with god be like god so i've been like this this is my life um I'm really struggling. I need you to really help me learn my identity in Christ. Who is it you have called me to be? Who is it that you want me to be? And God will reveal that to you. God, another thing you can do is seek counsel from godly people. So that would be when you go to church, um, talk to people. People can download so much worth and value into your life where you start to believe your identity in Christ. Um, sermons also speaking to people godly people as well really does do an amazing amazing thing more than you'll ever imagine or realize so one thing that i wrote down somewhere here in my words of affirmation that sarah jakes roberts said is that lord help me to be still long enough that i can see myself the way you see me to pray that god make me who you want me to be because if anything i can chase after a version of myself but at the end of the day i really want to chase after who god says i am and what god wants to do through me so to end off there's a song called you say by lauren daigle that song basically says you say i am loved when i can't feel a thing you say i am strong when i think i am weak you say i am held when i am falling short when i don't belong you say i'm yours i believe what you say of me i believe and then another thing is um there's this spoken word by hosanna poetry called i have a new name i shared it on my instagram a while back i would definitely recommend you to listen to that so for me when i wake up it's something i listen to every single day like it's my get up words of affirmation this is what jesus says about me yes god has called me yes i'm loved and it really does give me a ton of confidence um in believing that so i'd recommend you to do that and then to end off what i want to do is just tell you what your identity in christ is this list is endless but these are ones that i'm just going to share with you right now your identity in christ this is that you are chosen you are his workmanship you are god's friend you are his masterpiece you are handmade your purpose your body is a temple you are a resident of the holy spirit you are a child of god you are greatly loved you are free brand new forgiven called by god a new creation redeemed blessed the head and not the tail above and not beneath healed reconciled joined heirs with christ a conqueror accepted and complete and i just really wanted to share that with you guys because i think it's so important to know your identity in christ there's so much value that gets added into it like in moments when you feel like you are not called you're not worthy life may suck i want you to remember that you are loved you're called and that's basically that i think for me i've grown so much knowing my identity in christ is something that i'm constantly learning something that i'm constantly making sure that i'm aware of because if i'm not aware of it then what's gonna happen you know so yeah so yeah that's everything this is the end of the video thank you guys so so much for watching i really do hope you guys enjoyed this video as you guys can tell my seating positions have been changing the whole time because the sun is currently setting so this is me in the sun <laughs> but thank you guys so so much for watching don't forget to give this video a big massive thumbs up if you liked it comment down below what you guys think your thoughts um share this with anyone that you think would be helpful for and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell so you're notified when i post a new video we're back with faith friday and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye